have the ability to click on click on the button. She can't actually because she's not playing. So if you click on the button, you see how the background changes and the gradient changes and the the stroke changes. Well, that's what I'm going to be trying to replicate using um, that element and and JavaScript. So if I go back to Blend, I've given this uh, button the t the name in left. So in JavaScript, I'm hoping to be able to do in left dot gradient dot start is a different color and dot end is a different color. So like when they click it on the mouse down of this button, I'll be able to change the gradient to a darker one and the mouse up back to what it originally was. Or if I want to theme it, I can change it from this grey to white to green to white, for instance. And you could not traditionally do that with the old world of web programming, um, the HTML programming, where you'd have to have specific images with special speci specific colours for the theme that you want. Uh, that itself is amazing in my eyes. So that's the first button. So if I copy that and make two more copies of that for each of the other buttons, so that's the second button. Oops. That's the second button. I'll drag it over here and paste. And this is the third button. So this third middle one is a bigger one, so hold the shift down and then just grow it. And let's try to align it so that there you go. There are three circles. This middle one doesn't actually seem to So that's looking quite good. What I'll do is I'll give these better names. So this one, I'll call this one N Middle. And I'll call this one Navigation N Right. And the three circles. So now I'll create the slider. So the slider consists of a rectangle first. have a gradient starts from bottom to top so starts dark to semi dark my computer's chugging along here it's just really slow so dark to a semi dark and the direction is from bottom light to dark so that's about right that's fine and it's got actually it's actually got a rounded corner so let's see if I can give it a rounded corner so if I go back on here you've got this corner here which Now you could that's that was so simple doing that. That's just that's phenomenal. Alright, so the next step is to create the actual knob on the slider. So that's just another circle. Hold the shift key down and create. There you go. And just drag that up a bit. go and it's a uh, gradient which is actually a circular starting with the light going we'll try the other way light on the outside 
that side. Dock on the inside. Uh, this dock. Look at that. And yeah, that'll be fine. Doesn't look like that, but that's fine. And so what I'll do is I'll give this a call this the slider. Slider. And this is the second one is a slider. Slider dot. Alright, so that's the f let's take a break and I'll continue on after.